What's going on guys, welcome back. Okay, so now that we created our sidebar over here and we got our border over here, let's make it look a little bit better because right now it looks pretty generic. And uh, with CS3, we can make some pretty cool stuff that we couldn't make with CS, just regular CSS. So let's go ahead and go to our CSS page and let's play around with this thing. So let's go to our side right here and let's look at the width. Does the width look okay? Yeah, the width looks good. I'm on a 13 inch monitor right now. You guys might be on something bigger than this. But uh, depending on what how big your computer screen is, you might want to move this around a little bit. Maybe try 25 or 35. But um, if not, then uh, don't worry about it. Okay, so we got margin right. Okay, so right off the bat, I could tell that I want some padding in here because my recent is way too close to the top and the left as well as my image. So let's go to padding and I'll say 10 pixels for top and bottom and 20 pixels for left and right. Let's see what that looks like. Nope. Let's make the width a little bit smaller. Let's go to 25%. Let's see how this looks now. Okay, good. Cool. That works. So I bumped it over a little bit. And uh, before I had it too big, because we have this set to what, 75%? The whole wrapper we have set to, where are you wrapper? 75%, so 75% plus our content is 60%, plus our width is 25%. Yeah, we're pretty darn close to F, uh, messing up our CSS. But that looks good, it's not bad. So what I want to do is I want to add a background color in here to differentiate it from the background color on our wrapper, which is obviously white. And right now they're both white because this is white by default. They're both white by default, but we change this body background to uh, or this background color to white. So let's give this another color. And honest to God, this is the only color I've ever remembered in terms of hex patterns, like the six digit hex pattern and it's like this it's kind of like a Home Depot kind of orange FF4800 a little bit more brighter though a little bit more neon and the main thing about this video that I want to get across is I want to talk about a border radius because we can do this now with CSS3 so let's look at our border radius is that how you spell radius? radius? okay it should work like that and let's see what 10 pixels looks like it shouldn't bend the corners too much with 10 pixels. Let's reload this. Not bad. That doesn't look that bad. I don't think so. Let's go over here. Let's go to our border. Let's change this from black to blue. We still have it set at groove. Let's try dotted. Mm, I don't know about that. Go back to groove. Again, there's no right or wrong. This is all personal preference, but this doesn't look too design-esque savvy. Okay, let's see what 25% border radius looks like. 25 pixels, I apologize. Reload this. Mm, let's meet it halfway. Let's go with... Um, Where's the CSS folder? Where'd you go? Would we have 10 before? We'll just meet it at 15 pixels. We'll see what that looks like. And this is CSS3, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, not bad. Nice little add in there for some, for a million, trillion, billion dollar website that we're taking credit for. It's a joke. Nobody get offended by this. We didn't really create eBay. We just stole their images and put recent work above it. And anybody and their mother would know that this is a bold-faced lie. So, what else do I wanna do? Oh, there's one thing I wanted to talk about. Because different browsers like Firefox and Safari and Google Chrome, they render code a little bit differently. And some of the older browsers like Internet Explorer, the old Firefoxes, can't render the CSS3 and the HTML5. So what we need to do is we need to create one more uh, CSS attribute and I'm gonna drop down a line for this one this is called Moz 
which stands for Mozilla, who owns Firefox, border radius 15 pixels. Because older versions of Mozilla Firefox will not understand the border radius right here. So older people, or not older people, maybe older people, that have uh, that are working on this tutorial as well, this will not curve. It will not round at all. So we have to imply this CSS right here for it to do so. And I'll just make a comment. Nope. Supports old versions of Firefox. Just like that. All right, and save it. And in the next video, we'll talk about shadowing. We'll talk about how we can shadow with CSS3. All right, guys, so good luck with this. I'll see you over there.